Hello everyone. I'm so glad you've joined me today. Are you ready to make this great card with me? I have had so much fun playing with the black and white theme this week. For today's card, I use the Art Gallery stamp set and the Floral Gallery dies. So it's a, core, uh, a bundle that I have been playing with and I love it. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna move that up there. First thing I did was I stamped the images using Memento Black and I used the die to cut them out. I went to put them on my card base, but it was plain. It was, it was lost. It needed some more interest, so to speak. So I pulled out the diamonds embossing folder. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's they're diamonds in some form. And I embossed my piece of three and three fourths by five. All measurements and product are in the link below so that you can check it out. All right, so I've got that done. This, because it's embossed, I'm going to put onto my card base with some double-sided tape. You need something really, really sticky. And our Stampin' Up! Terran tape is, um, I'm gonna have to order some more of that. Um, I also use Yucky Scissors for cutting my tape because they get sticky and I don't want to ruin my good paper cutting scissors with gunk, so I just use my pieces like this. All right, so there. All right, got that. I'm gonna put that on a piece of basic black that I have scored in the middle, so I'm going to fold it, use my bone folder, and then I'm going to take my back off. And add this to my card base. Make sure you burnish your ends real good because if not, your tape doesn't stick and it pulls away when you take your back off. All right, so I'm gonna make sure I open my card up so I put this on the front and not on the back, which I have done, so I learned to open my card up now. All right, got that done. Now it's time to add our images and I'm gonna add those with some dimensionals. So I'm gonna do a lot of adding dimensionals and cutting so I get half pieces to add and I'm just kinda of looking for big spots to add them. And I went a little too high on that one. I'll have to use my pokey tool to push it down um, the advantage is the background is white, so it's not going to show up as much. All right, so there's that one. Now let's get this one, all the pieces on this. Now make sure I'm going to pull this one down some so it's not too high this time. And then one more, like so. All right, and I'm gonna take all of my backs off. Get rid of these pieces, because I've had them stick to the backs of these, and if the wrong side sticks to it, you got a mess. Oh, that one, the back didn't come off of that one. There we go. Now it is. Must have been at the end of a row. Also make sure you hold your pieces right about where you're gonna pull off your backs if you're using a pokey tool so you don't 
rip the piece off totally. All right, and I'm going to take this and I'm going to add it here. And then I'm going to take, this is where that piece is showing. So I'm going to take my pokey tool, push it under. Whoops. There's another piece over here. And I'm going to push it under. I just push it under and then push down and it sticks to the um, cardstock. And then this piece goes on like so. All right. I have these pearls that sadly just retired. So I'm going to add them because there is a little bit of color to it. So if you want, all right, come on, there we go. If you want a little bit of color without being, you know, I know black and white with a pop of color is very popular, but this one has, doesn't really have a pop, it's more of a shine. So, and I am using my pokey tool um, because it allows me to put it where I want it and then pull my, all right, I'm going to leave that one because I remember when I put that bow on, I had some issues with that other one and had to move it. So I am now going to take my crinkled seam binding and I'm going to tie a bow. All right, and I don't want it too big. I don't care if the tails are long, but I don't want my bow too big. That one is almost too big for me. There we go. That's a little better. All right. All right. Now I'm going to use my ribbon scissors. Make sure you have a pair of ribbon scissors. Don't cut your ribbon with your good scissors. It will dull them. Okay. And I'm going to put it on this way just because of the way it's laying. Now, I've put this on here, and then I'm going to take and pinch it so that I push the glue dot back behind the bow. All right, and now I can add my last pearl. And I'm going to add it down here on this one. All right, so there it is. And remember, take and stamp the inside and the envelope. Now what I did was I stamped my envelope and then I went and stamped the inside. So I had um, a lighter image inside. So if I have to write over it, I can. <clears throat> I would love to have you help me out on YouTube. Subscribe to, the but to my channel using the button below so you don't miss my videos. Click the bell next to it if you want to be notified when I upload. Thanks for visiting me today. Have a great day.